back to our earlier story where there has been a call for the scrapping of the sanitation ministry. Ata Ahen is vice chair for the coalition of non-governmental organizations in water and sanitation, Konewas. Mr. Ahen, what's your stand on this? Should the sanitation ministry be scrapped? Well, thank you very much. Um, first of all, let's understand that there is a history to the establishment of the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources. And, and it's, it's not for nothing that the name of the ministry is Sanitation and Water Resources, and not Water Resources and Sanitation. Because previously, we were all under two ministries. And so it was difficult for you to interface effectively. We were under the Ministry of Water Resources, Works and Housing, and also the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development. And it wasn't easy dealing with two ministries at the same time. And so the establishment of this ministry, if for nothing at all, has given us a one-stop shop for easy interface among stakeholders. This was difficult previously. The second reason why I think the ministry is important is the fact that it has promoted accountability. Like I told you, if you were dealing with the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development, and at the same time, the Ministry of um, Water Resources, Works and Housing, it was a big issue. I mean, because you could not hold one ministry to account. Even at the Ministry of Local Government, if sanitation was not, I mean, being done well, mm. you could not have called for the collapse of the Ministry of Local Government mm. and Rural Development, because it had several other tasks to perform. Mm. I think we should also understand that this is quite a young ministry, but people expect it to be running like other ministries have been running. Look, I can tell you that it takes time for you to develop your strategic plans. It takes time for you to do your institutional realignment. It takes time for the organizational culture to develop and even your staffing to get your staffing right. As I speak to you, policies are being reviewed and there are procurement processes ongoing to ensure that the national water policy, the environmental sanitation right. policies right. are reviewed. And but, so but Mr. Ahen, should, the national sanitation we plan be patient a little. The national sanitation plan was launched by President Ekufado in 2017. Just this week we had a conversation about how the, the real effort to see that broad agenda of Accra being the cleanest city in Africa has not been put in. Is that not enough justification for these calls? Yes, and I guess you are talking about the National Sanitation Campaign. Yes, yeah. and you are right on that score. Mm. It was launched 2017 yeah. by the president. But I, I think that, I mean, the kind of efforts we want to see in pushing this agenda I mean, has not been forthcoming. Okay. But that is not the failure of the ministry for me. I mean, the entire government machinery for me is not giving this ministry the kind of attention that it deserves. But Mr. Ian, how we are giving attention to free SHS. Mr. Ian, if we are giving um, the same attention to sanitation, mm. we will succeed. Mr. Ian, thank you so much. It's time for us to go. And so we will um, continue this conversation at a later time. Thank you so much.